uh, next two items that you're going to compare or consider for uh, early season travel in the Sierras along the PCT, JMT is going to be a crampon. Um, not 100% necessary all the time. Uh, 2017, traveling through a lot of snow and ice. I had crampons with me. I put them on one time on Forester Pass. Uh, don't think I really even needed them there. And I actually did the entire thing with micro spikes, but that is 100% based on the comfort level that you personally have on snow, the time of day you're traveling. If it's early in the morning and you're on solid ice, Crampon's probably a good idea. If you're gonna let the snow melt a little bit so you can get a little bit better purchase and sink in, you can possibly do it with a, with a micro spike if you are comfortable enough and, and you feel like that works out well for you. So buying crampons, which I think is what a lot of people go with because uh, it's a safety thing for them, makes them feel better. You have two choices, aluminum or steel. So your steel crampon, both of these are made by Black Diamond. Doesn't really matter what brand you go with. They're gonna be real similar. These are 32.2 ounces. So you're looking at two pounds, two ounces for a steel crampon. Uh, the design is the same. It's just a matter of whether or not you're using steel or aluminum. Um, what you gain using a steel crampon. So a steel crampon will dull, but you're not at any risk of ruining or breaking the spikes on rocks or any other uh, hard obstructive surfaces. So you can transition from snow to rocks, back to snow using steel crampons, which is, you're gonna see a lot of terrain like that uh, if you're out on the PCT JMT in the Sierras. That is generally how it goes as you're going over passes, unless you choose an absolute straight shot up a chute that is nothing but ice, uh, ice and snow. So. These are a little bit heavier, but they will take significant, abu significant abuse. You're not going to ruin them at all. Uh, coming in on the other hand here, so this is more of a specialty item. It's considerably lighter. Uh, this is the Black Diamond Neve crampon. It is aluminum. So with an aluminum crampon, you cannot take these on rocks. I mean, you could probably do it a little bit, but you are asking to essentially snap these teeth off if you start doing uh, any type of real aggressive travel on anything other than snow or ice. If you're only gonna travel on snow and ice, if you're very selective about the routes that you take up and down passes, um, and if you're very responsible with your gear, this can be a really good option because it is significantly lighter, coming in at one pound, four ounces. So you save yourself a lot of weight, but you gotta understand the limitations of this tool if you choose to use it. Uh, the price range on both of, them is, both of these is similar. Um, I'd say most people go with steel, just based on the fact that they require a lot less care, and uh, you can abuse them to last you a significant amount of time without proper care. I've used both of these out there. This year in 2019, uh, I just had these Neves, and <clears throat> they work extremely well, but I found myself a few times in situations where I'm transitioning between ice snow and rock uh, and I intentionally didn't put them on because I knew that was going to be the case which forced me to use micro spikes somewhere that I may have had a better uh, may have had better success using crampons so know that before you make this purchase um, both are good just you're going to pay the price at two pounds two ounces or one pound four ounces depending on what you choose to do here